Um, this example here, basically we're going to estimate primary consolidation settlement given this E log sigma prime curve. So we have this from our lab test. So we're, we're given this clay layer. So this is your consolidating layer. And we take a representative sample from this layer and perform the 1D consolidation test. So we have lab test on a representative sample at the middle of the clay layer. And this is at the middle, so that's four meter. And then when we perform 1D consolidation test, we get this E log sigma prime curve. We also have the initial void ratio and the saturated unit weight of this clay layer. And then we're going to calculate the primary consolidation for a surcharge of 60 kilonewton per meter square. So we know this is our change in effective stress. So that's that surcharge on top. And then we're going to use this E log sigma prime curve to calculate primary consolidation. And to do that, so first, let's look at the initial state in the clay layer, the initial effective stress. So this is at mid layer. So this is an in initial state of that representative sample, basically at the middle of the clay layer. So the initial effective stress at that location, we call sigma naught prime, is four, which is the depth of that sample times the buoyant unit weight. Gamma saturated minus gamma water, that's the definition of buoyant unit weight. So this clay layer is saturated, so we can use buoyant unit weight to calculate effective stress. And then you plug in unit weights. That is the initial, initial effective stress at the middle of the clay layer. And the void ratio, this is given in the problem statement. So we know that the initial void ratio is 1.1. And then the final state. So we know the change in effective stress. So this change in effective stress is due to the surcharge on top. So that's 60. Kilonewton per meter square. And then the final state after loading is placed that effective stress we call that final effective stress sigma F prime. This is sigma naught prime plus delta sigma prime. 92.76 kilonewton per meter square. So that's the final effective stress after the surcharge is placed on top. And then the final void ratio. To find the final void ratio we need to use this E log sigma prime curve. So let's take a look at this E log sigma prime curve. So this is log scale. And on this curve, let's first identify these stress points. So we know the initial sigma naught is 32.6. So it's right here, 32.76. So that's your initial effective stress and then the corresponding void ratio. It's right here. So that's E naught, 1.1. And the final effective stress, 92.76. And that point is right here. And this 92.76 has a corresponding void ratio. We can get that from this E log sigma prime curve. That's your final void ratio after surcharge is placed. So basically, given this E log sigma prime curve from the 1D consolidation test, we can find the final void ratio corresponding to that sigma F prime. So this EF is 1.045. And once you identify this final void ratio, then the change in void ratio delta E is E naught minus EF. And this is 0.055. And then you can calculate the primary consolidation as C. 
And here, H, again, is the thickness of the entire consolidating layer. It's not the depth where the sample was taken. It's the thickness of the entire layer. So it's 8 meter divided by 1 plus 1.1 times 0 0.055. 0.21 meter. So that's the primary consolidation due to that 60 kilonewton per meter square surcharge. Just to emphasize again, this H is thickness of the entire layer. That's why it's eight meter, not four meter. 